In this video, I am going to talk about what is the difference between first and second principle of mathematical induction. If you are watching this video, you must be knowing about first principle of mathematical induction, which holds if and only if the second principle of mathematical induction holds. The first and second principle differ only in induction steps. To understand it, let us take an example problem. The problem says, if x plus 1 by x belongs to set of integers, then prove that x to the nth power plus its reciprocal also belongs to set of integers, for all n belongs to set of natural numbers. Let us consider the statement P of n, which says sum of x to the nth power and its reciprocal is integer for all n belongs to set of natural numbers. Clearly, P of n is true for n equal to 1 as it is given in the question. So, this was the first step. Let us assume that P of n is true for all n such that n is greater than or equal to 2 and less than or equal to an integer k. This implies P of 2, P of 3 and so on. P of k minus 1 and P of k is true. It means x squared plus 1 by x squared belongs to set of integer, x cubed plus 1 by x cubed is also integer, and so on. x to the k minus 1 plus its reciprocal is an integer, and x to the k plus 1 by x to the k is also an integer. In the first principle, it is assumed that p of n is true for n equal to k, but in the second principle, it is assumed that p of n is true for all n greater than the basis number and less than or equal to an integer k. In this case, the basis number is 1 because the statement is true for n equal to 1 initially. Let us move ahead. Now we will check that whether p of k plus 1 is true or false whenever p of 2 to p of k is true. The left hand side of p of k plus 1 equals sum of x to the k plus 1 and its reciprocal. This expression can be rewritten as x to the k plus 1 by x to the k times x plus 1 by x minus x to the k minus 1 plus 1 by x to the k minus 1. If you solve it, you will get the above expression. As per our assumption, sum of x to the k and its reciprocal is an integer and sum of x to the k minus 1 and its reciprocal is also an integer. It is given in the question, x plus 1 by x is also integer. So, finally after performing multiplication and subtraction, we will get p of k plus 1 equals an integer. This implies p of n is true for n equals k plus 1 whenever it is true for n is greater than or equal to 2 and less than or equal to k. It means x to the n plus 1 by x to the n is an integer for all n belongs to set of natural numbers. So, this is how we can prove this statement using second principle of mathematical induction. If you like content of this video useful, please hit the like button and also consider subscribing us. Thanks for watching.